Hey everybody and welcome to episode number 148 at CodeKarate.com. I'm Adam and you can follow me on Twitter at Adam Laring. You can also follow um, Shane at SMThomas3. So make sure to go ahead and do that. Uh, we appreciate the follow. In addition to that, make sure you head over to CodeKarate.com. On Code Karate, you can sign up for the newsletter there in the left sidebar. Um, kind of send random, uh, typically once a month emails uh, to you. Don't worry about um, getting a ton from us. We won't send it a ton. Just stay informed. Um, and also coming up, we're going to be releasing our first ever ebook, the Code Karate ebook, um, Five Secrets to Becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja. Um, so go ahead and sign up for that and more information to come. But appreciate any follows or signups you can give. Anyway, back to the business. Today we are going to be covering the Drupal Commerce module and then two other sub-modules underneath that being the Commerce uh, Percentage module, or Coupon Percentage module, excuse me, and the Commerce Coupon Fixed module. Um, you can check those all, all out, of course, at drupal.org. Um, pretty standard modules, nothing too complex about them, but a nice little add-on to any Drupal Commerce site that you might be running. So to get started, uh, you, again, you need to download the uh, Commerce Coupon Module, uh, the Commerce Coupon Fixed Amount Module, and the Commerce Coupon Percentage Module. All can be found, again, on Drupal.org. All right, so once you get the modules downloaded, go ahead and enable them. Here's my site. So you can see I have Commerce Coupon, Fixed Amount, Percentage Amount, and then the UI, which comes with uh, Commerce Coupon Module, all enabled. I want to make one note here, too. There is an additional module um, the uh, Commerce Date module. Um, that allows you to have your coupons run for a certain amount of time. Um, you will also need a date pop-up module and the date module with that um, as add-ons, but it's kind of a nice add-on. We're not going to cover it in this video, but if you do want to limit the uh, time your coupon's available uh, without having to go in and manually shut it off, that's a nice module to have. Alright, so to get started, the first thing you need to do is to create uh, coupon. So to do that you can go under um, store coupons and then there's two different coupon types that come prepackaged with the fixed amount and the percentage coupon module. Um, obviously they're kind of self-explanatory. You can either have a certain amount of dollar off, like five dollars off, or a percentage, ten percent off, five five percent off, whatever it be. Um, for this video I'm going to show you both. Um, so the first one we're going to use these two coupon types. We're not going to make a new one but you can. Um, so anyway, we're going to create a fixed coupon first. So you just simply go again, I was store coupons, create coupon, and I'm going to create a fixed coupon. Uh, give it an amount off, so we'll do $2. The code, that's obviously what you'd send out to your customers and they'll type in. So let's do, uh, let's do, let's do, I don't know, let's do Drupal. That'll work. Um, max number of uses, obviously you can set that limit. Um, I typically like to set that as a higher amount. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll set it to 10 for now. And then whether it's an active or coupon or not. So it seems pretty simple, but that's about all there is to it. Um, you go ahead and set that coupon up. The next step too is obviously you need a product. Um, I'm hop over here. I have a product right here. Um, the five secrets to becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja. Again, just a little plug. This is the ebook that will be coming out, so check that out. And there will be a coupon attached to it, so make sure to follow on Twitter, and you can also follow us on Facebook at code or slash code karate. Um, but we'll post the coupon code once the book's ready to go, so save some money there. But anyway, once you uh, get to a product page, you can just add it to the cart, and then. Get to the checkout page. Um, I already have three in there, which is impressive, but we'll just go with it. So I'm going to check out and buying three of these books. You can see here below, I already have a coupon code applied. I'm going to remove that so I can show you the one I just created, the new one. And then I'm going to add the Drupal coupon code. And that should give us that fixed amount off. Hopefully. 
And there you see, we've been granted $2 off on our amount. And if we continue through this checkout process, uh, I think all my fields are filled in. You'll see right there that it now subtracts the amount. So now I only owe thirteen dollars. Um, you do see that it says fixed coupon here. That's kind of annoying, obviously, since it you might want that to say, you know, savings or something different. Um, you can't or you can change that by go ahead and in new coupons and creating your own coupon type and then giving it the whatever name you want it to be. So that's how you fix that problem. All right, so that's how you deal with the fixed coupon amount. Pretty simple. Um, the percentage amount coupon is about exactly the same as that. Um, so again, you just go into store coupons, create a coupon, and we're going to create a percentage coupon. Uh, we'll create a 50% off coupon. So, oops, coupon code, we'll say 50, uh, we'll do save 50. Max number of uses again, same thing as before. And then the percentage amount, 50%, so we'll do save 50. And then you see here's all our coupons, our new save 51. And then we will do the same thing we did before. And hopefully we get 50% off our purchase, which I'm pretty confident we will. So we hit, let's just go back here. And move the fixed amount one. So obviously being an order being fifteen dollars, you see about seven dollars fifty cents off of here. Save fifty. Add the coupon. And there you go, seven dollars and fifty cents off. And again, if I continue to check out or to review stage, you'll see my total is now only seven dollars and fifty cents. So, same thing again with the name. You have to you can make your own uh, and call it whatever you'd like. All right, guys. Well, like I said, that's a pretty simple coupon module um, on Drupal Commerce. It's a nice have though to be able to save your uh, customers a little bit of cash as well as uh, be able to promote your product around and get a little bit more traction with it. All right. So again, uh, thanks for listening to episode number 148. Go ahead and follow us on Twitter at Adam Laring and at SMThomas3. And also uh, sign up for a newsletter and keep your head up for our uh, five secrets to becoming a Drupal Ninja ebook. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.